Kettle Moraine High School where this afternoon the Lutheran Crusaders take on uh, Central Wisconsin Christian in a sectional final game. The winner of this game will head off to state. Uh, Christian uh, won to get here over Catholic Central 53 to 46. Uh, Sheboygan Lutheran beat Milwaukee Academy of Science 68 to 53 in what was a very close game until the fourth quarter. Uh, Chris, Central Wisconsin is much taller than Sheboygan and uh, their best player, at least their high scorer, Tyler DeYoung, averages 15-8, and he's 6-4. He could be uh, quite a load for the Crusaders. Yes, Marty, he, he is quite a load. He's uh, basically uh, a second-team all-conference player a year ago. He's a junior this year, averaging, like you mentioned, 16 points a game and nine rebounds. Uh, he's a force out there, and their they're two best leading scorers go 6-4, 6-4, and they got a couple 6-3s, so Ryan Sheely's going to be probably have a lot of work in the paint along with uh, some of the other guys as well. Now even though they're taller that could play into an advantage for uh, Lutheran because uh, obviously they're not going to be as quick as Sheboygan and uh, Sheboygan does like to run. Well we talked about it uh, over lunch and we mentioned that one of the keys I think is pace. Pace of the ball game is going to be very important. Sheboygan Lutheran comes in averaging 70 points a game. Central Wisconsin averages 56 points. As a matter of fact Marty they only had one game in the 70s, one game in the 70s, and uh, when Lutheran's averaging 70 points, we've seen them score almost 100. <laughs> so I think pace is a key. I think uh, one of the keys for uh, Central Wisconsin is they got a defense of three, and once they go out, that's going to open up the middle a little bit for uh, Tyler Zastro, and he likes to uh, get in the lane. Well, I know Tyler had a great game in that uh, second half the other night, uh, basically brought a team back that was kind of struggling against the Milwaukee uh, Academy of Science and had a huge four, uh, fourth quarter and led that rally, so he will be important. Uh, Christian comes in 20 and 6, Sheboygan Lutheran 22 and 2. Uh, also, a big factor for uh, Sheboygan Lutheran is going to be uh, Jacob Juris. Yeah, Jacob Juris just went off a week ago and he's going to have to have one of those nights again. He averaged 16 points a game. We'll even settle for an afternoon like that. <laughs> All right, we're going to shut up and get through the uh, national anthem.
Nice job with the national anthem by that young lady from uh, Central Wisconsin, Christian. A lot of Crusaders here. Number three, a five foot nine senior, Jason Braunschweig. Number three is Jason Braunschweig. Number four, Cody Zonnefeld. Number five is Logan Gans. Andrew Greenfield, number 42, and rounding out the starting lineup is number 50, Tyler DeYoung. He is their high scorer. Five hundred tickets to pre-sold, Marty. Yep. They, they came out from Sheboygan Lutheran. And it looks like uh, LaPont brought a good crowd too. Starting lineup for uh, Lutheran, number three, Jacob Juris. He's the only junior in the uh, starting lineup. Number four, Ryan Sheely. Chris, that's your favorite player. Number 15 is uh, Jeff Hess. Number 23, Phil Leipham. And rounding out the uh, starting lineup is uh, Tyler's Astros. Astro averaging uh, just over 20 points a game. Our officials this afternoon are uh, Jim Lemon, Steve Lubke, and uh, Jeff Brewster. And uh, as you know, Chris, the further down the line you get in tournament play, the better the officials are. Yeah, I'm sure it's gonna be uh, physical tonight. Tonight, one o'clock in the afternoon, I apologize. I'm sure we'll make that mistake more than once this afternoon. And the buzzers are going off. It's just what you want in a sectional final. <laughs> Something's not working right. We are going to get your attention no matter what. Christian comes in at 20 and 6, 14 and 4. Oshkosh Lords went undefeated in their conference, and they are playing in the Division Four finals tonight, today against Dominican. Randolph is the team that used to be the power in this league, and they are now. They finished fourth. Lutheran ranked number three in state. Central Wisconsin, Catherine won, oh boy. Zastro with a leap and leaner, couldn't get it in, but he gets the rebound, has it blocked out of bounds. Well, size advantage is definitely gonna go to Central Wisconsin Christian. I said, Wisconsin Christian won their first 10. They were ranked as number, as high as number five in state. Lutheran right now ranked number three. Light palm on a nice pass, put it up and in for uh, Lutheran. I wouldn't expect uh, Central Wisconsin Christian to uh, do a lot of running. They'll want to get in a half court game. Use that height advantage. Good defense by Hess. That's the guy you got to be aware of. Number 50, Tyler DeYoung. Going to get physical, that's for sure. We have a great seat right behind the basket that Christian's coming to. Central Wisconsin Christian being very patient. And stepping in and creating the steal was Jeff Hess, and then we get a foul. Good play by Hess. I think it's a big, big advantage. Lutheran has all these seniors. Some of these players played on a state championship for Todd Decker just two years ago. They've been in a house like this. They also got to play down at Concordia, which had a big crowd of people down there when they played Burlington Catholic Central and Fall River. I was thinking about the conference they play in too, and I don't know too much about the trailways, but uh, Lutheran is facing teams that are in Division Four frequently and uh, especially when you have to play a team like Oosberg. Sheely from outside the line, Rainbow three is down. Yeah. 
Lutheran going to try to make them play fast. chile has got uh, DeYoung. DeYoung rolls it in but couldn't get it. And then we get a foul. I think that's going to go on Sheboygan. I think they're going to get Jers. No, Sheely. They never took the foul from the first uh, okay. off the board. Right. So I think it was on Juris. Nope, it's on Phil Leipom. Why? And there's going to be a lot of contact. That wasn't a great deal. There's a turnover by. Well, again, they're doubling up on DeYoung. They're not letting him just catch it and make a move. Pass on a great spin move. Goes right around DeYoung for a basket. And a, steal, and a timeout by uh, Central Wisconsin. Great start by uh, Sheboygan, Chris. Yeah, we're going to keep it here for timeouts today because we don't have a truck, but you are exactly right. Big lead already. Did I miss a basket? I mean, I've got it down as 7 to nothing. I have sheet. it 7 to nothing too. They're going to have to fix the, that. It is 7 to nothing. I have a 3, a 2, and a 2. That's what I have. thing I can think of is if they threw it in and threw it away and uh, Sheboygan scored again and uh, then they called the timeout but uh... well they've got it uh... Uh, now they changed it you I know what you know you're right sectional final and they're goofing up on the horn or goofing up on the score on the board yep. you got to get that stuff straight they are doubling down in all sorts of trouble and there's a jump ball going to go back to Christian, but they're just smothering, smothering DeYoung, and I know I've been a little critical on drive penetration for Lutheran. They have to play a little better D, but first two minutes here, Marty, they've been pretty sharp. Oops. Drive to the basket is good by Braunschweig. Just as I mentioned it. Yeah, nice going, Chris. Lutheran running the weave, gets it inside, pitches it back out. Luthern kind of forced into a half-court offense. Now not able to get the break going. Pass was late. Interception by Gans. I'd like to have that one back. Yeah. He was open on the cut. The pass just didn't come in time. The young spin move to the middle is no good. Chile with the rebound. The young all for two. Juris with a three from the top of the circle. Two for two from three-point range for Sheboygan. Ten to two, great start for Sheboygan. I didn't know if Juris was set there, but uh, obviously set enough. <laughs> yeah, really. He looked a little off mark. Good hustle by Juris. They're letting him play, Chris. I thought that was a foul. Yep, they're going to let him play. This is sectional finals. Juris with a two-pointer. We don't see that very often. It's 12 to two. Well, Juris hustled in and around there. Make it the steal. That's three turnovers already for Central Wisconsin. Oh, that should be Lower offensive. Over the shoulder, yeah. That was a, we had a great look at it from our vantage point, and you could see him lower the shoulder. And uh, Zonnefeld now has two fouls. Coming in for him is gonna be uh, Lucas Vanderberg. Zonnefeld, the second leader scorer on the team with two fouls early. Comes in averaging 9.8 a game, and now he's on the bench. Their top two players are juniors, Marty. Yeah, they're good. They should be good next year. Luther's oh, there should be lead. another foul. In and out for uh, Juris. They fought right through uh, Zastro's screen, pushed L him right down to the floor. Literally. No call. They are big and strong, Marty. It's hard to believe this is a, you know, you see the size of some of these Division Five teams. They only got 106 kids in their school. Basket is, uh, the shot is off. Looked like it was halfway down and popped out. Juris comes away with the board. Now he's trying to push it to the basket. Couldn't get in. 
Wow, better another, passes. Uh, yeah, another incomplete pass by Luther, and then the ball is tipped out of bounds. Should be Sheboygan's ball, and it is. Fifth turnover already on them. I know we've talked about it, but uh, they're not only big, but they're long, too. It's uh, going to be hard to make good passes. Well, that's why you've got to be smarter with your passes. They're just forcing it. That's why they have those two turnovers. Pass, three ball, shooters roll. He got it in another three basket for Sheboygan. If I'm Central Wisconsin Christian, don't be afraid to call another timeout, and he exactly. does. Good call, Chris. Second time out of the quarter, there's still 3.02 left. It's 15 to two Sheboygan. Well, this is one of the days you bring the hammer. You bring the hammer and you, you go at them all night. There is no, uh, you don't play the kids tonight. What a start. This is an awesome start. Lutheran has three two-point baskets already in the quarter. And uh, the interesting thing about it, Chris, is three different players have those baskets. You know, yep. we're not just depending on Juris. Yep. They're off to a good start. They're six of nine from the floor. Just four shot attempts for Christian. Uh, Central Wisconsin Christian. They seem to be trying to knock it in to DeYoung, but I think great defense so far by Sheboygan Lutheran. Nick uh, Verhagen. The uh, Lutheran coach had a great plan coming in. You know, anytime he touches the ball, we're doubling down. And uh, you got to imagine that throughout the season, they've seen this before. Christian, I mean, the double team on the big guy, but uh, they certainly haven't handled it very well so far. Braunschweig. And is, again, uh, the dri dribble drive, Marty, is. Just something that they haven't done a great job of this year. They got to stay off of him and let let him take the 15 footer and let him get him to instead of getting to the rack. Sastro commits a foul. Braunschweig is uh, shooting the free throws and he missed the first one. He looked nervous, Marty. No knee bend at all. He just kind of chucked it up there. It's tough to play in a big house like this. Much better there. It was an eight point run till that made free throw. It's now 15 to three. I'll take huh? another 8 0 run, Marty. Exactly. Oh boy. Sastro, not a good not shot. Not a good shot. He had a player open in the corner. That wasn't the best decision at all. Braunschweig has it on top. He's a senior, Chris. 5'9, runs the show. DeYoung from outside, couldn't get it. Braunschweig with a good hustle rebound, and he makes a basket. Central Wisconsin Christian getting their sea legs back, but Juris takes care of it with another three. 18 to five, Sheboygan on top, rolling down to two minutes left in the quarter. A lot of game left too, Marty. Awful oh, lot of game. Three point attempt by uh, Greenfield is no good. Oh, better passes. Yeah, and they got to keep hustling, too. Juris, bango, baby, another three for him. He's got four, or three of them, Marty. He's four or five from the floor. Interesting, Taylor's Astro coming in, in before Jacob Ames, maybe because of his size. Turn shot is no good, and then Braunschweig uh, taps it out of bounds. I like that Braunschweig, Marty. He's a hustler. Very much so. I know he's only 5'9", but he's all over attacking the rebounds and things. Good call on the Taylor's Astro substitution, Chris. You're right, get another big body in there. And he can draw people away from the basket with his three-point shooting. It's Astro, pull up in the lane, couldn't get the shooter's roll. Coming away with the rebound was DeYoung. Braunschweig nope. looking to punt, pulls up from the free throw line, couldn't get it. Sheely with the board. DeYoung 0 for 5, Marty. Churse. He's feeling it. 
Oh, man. Under a minute left. Is there anybody guarding him? Let's hope not for another three quarters. Yeah, really. On the wing was Greenfield. He gave it up to Gans. Into DeYoung. Too much of a load for Sheely that time. 24 to 7, 20 seconds left. Luther looks like they're going to keep it out, play for one shot. Braunschweig uh, stays off of uh, Zastro. And they're going to get a foul on Central Wisconsin's uh, Lucas Vanderberg. It's a third team foul. Nine point four seconds left. It's twenty-four to seven. Luther on top. Juris open for just a deep. second. It's too no deep. good. And uh, fired up an air ball. No good. Good play though, coming out of that uh, out of bounds. Central Wisconsin has time. There's four seconds remaining. They should get a pretty good shot on this. Braunschweig with it. Gets it into DeYoung. Shot at the buzzer is off, and we're at the end of one quarter play. A great start for the Lutheran Crusaders. They lead it 24 to 7. Through the years, trends and styles may come and go. But the important things remain the same. Generation after generation, consistently there, creating moments and memories to last a lifetime. Like a true friend, the National Parks have always been there for you. And now, you can be there for them. Support the National Park Foundation and help protect America's treasured places. As days go by, when will you realize that very little will change until you change it? I am empowered. Get connected to make a difference. Take the pledge. Text EMPOWER to 69866 or go to IamEmpowered.com, the National Urban League, celebrating 100 years. Hey, looking at the score sheet, Chris, uh, Lutheran uh, amassed three runs in that first quarter. They started the game off with a seven-point run at that point. Christian called a timeout. They scored a basket, and then Lutheran came out and scored eight straight points. Christians called another timeout, got a couple of, got three points there, and then uh, Lutheran went on a nine-point run on three three-point baskets by uh, Juris. Pass cutting through the lane on a great pass, oh, but he couldn't get finish. the finish. Yeah, you're Not right there. tonight. Please don't miss those. Braunschweig kicks it out. Inside feed Braunschweig with a short jumper. Couldn't get it, but uh, Juris comes away with the rebound. They're just 3 of 12. Taylor Zastro using the body to protect the ball. Scores. Zastro that doesn't you know, play a lot of uh, early minutes comes in. Don't reach, Jacob. You don't want a second foul. Good ball movement this time by uh, Central Wisconsin Christian. Shot is no good by uh, Greenfield. Braunschweig, call somebody no hit. good. Zastro almost had it tipped away, but hangs on to it. They are letting them play tonight, today. Hess got through. And that time he puts the bunny in. Twenty-eight to seven, Chris. And there's still six and a half minutes left in the second quarter. DeYoung with an easy one. Deep dribble drive. He's two of eight. Taylor Zastro couldn't get it to go. Coming away with the rebound was Zonnefeld. And he's going to take it to the rack. Gee whiz. He lost. 
Zonnefeld is down. He's uh, hurt. His leg gave out on him. You could see it when he went up. You know, he just didn't have that power in his leg. Something gave out. Hopefully it's just a cramp. And, you know, he's got those uh, two knee braces on, too. You wonder if he's had problems in the past. Certainly hope that young man is okay. Uh, we did get a foul on the play. It goes on uh, Jason Braunschweig. That's his first. And uh, you can tell he's had this issue before, I think, Chris, and uh, he's not happy about it. I did not like that dry penetration, Marty. We just saw DeYoung come right down the, the, the lane and make an easy basket. There you saw another one there. Zonnefeld go right to the basket. Lutheran will bring it up. They're up 19. It's 28 to 9. Six minutes left in the first half. Zastro, uh, pretty good defense that time by Central Wisconsin. Starting five back on the floor. Juris' oh. shot is no good. Had a pretty good look. I'm wrong. Ames is in. I'm sorry. Ames is in for Hess. Inside feed. DeYoung just took it away from Shealy. He's a strong young man, Chris. You have to pay attention to that boy. Good defense by Gans. And all of a sudden, uh, Lutheran has hit a cold spell. Who shot that? Zastro on the miss. Yeah, he's 0 for 5. Gans has it on the wing, gets it into De DeYoung, and he couldn't put it in. Had a good look, too. Nice flop. Zastro from outside the line. He nails a three. He missed his first five, but you know he's not going to stop shooting. And we like that, don't we? 31-11. 9-8.50 left in the uh, first half. Shot off the glass is good by Lucas Vandenberg. They don't shoot a lot of threes. They've only shot 102 this year. That's only his ninth on the year. You can tell that. He forgot the call off the glass. Gans has Zastro. He goes right around him, puts it up and in, and he's fouled. And I think we got a foul there on Greenfield. Greenfield, excuse me. Yep, it is on Andrew Greenfield, his first fifth team foul. Ozenstein and Hess in, Jers and Sheely out. Hopefully not for a big break. Well, if you're going to give them a rest, you might as well do it now. Free throw is good. Oh, that brought back the three-pointer they hit off the backboard. Exactly. 34 to 14. Sheboygan on top. Greenfield had it, gave it up. DeYoung has it inside, but has to kick it out no to uh, Gans. And a good good play by uh, Phil Leipom. He got the rebound, but knew he wasn't going to be able to stay in bounds, so he threw it off of uh, Greenfield. And uh, Greenfield coming out, Chris, to bring it in Jared. I want to get this pronunciation right. Regneris, number 22, Jared Regneris in the ball game. Central Wisconsin shooting just 28%. You're going to get Hess on the foul. That was a lazy pass to the wing, Chris. you got to snap it over there. Yep, I agree with you. And now you cost yourself a foul. Foul on Hess, first first, 13. Juris back in. Hess guarding the ball. Ball tipped away. Gathered oh, that's up. double dribble. And almost an interception, but uh, coming out of it was uh, Vanderberg. Cherst with a shot to the head. And 
Central Wisconsin throws it out of bounds. I'll tell you, that was a disjointed possession right from the beginning. A lot of pressure by uh, Sheboygan, though, I thought, Marty. They were just swarming. They want to keep the ball, Central Wisconsin does, in the hands of uh, Jason Braunschweig. Juris shot off. Reload. Behind the back pass to Ames. Uh, no shot for Jacob, so he passes it back out. Ozzie being guarded closely. Kick out to Hess from three-point land, around and out. Hess, or Hasenstein's got to grab that one. Braunschweig got away, came away with the rebound. Regneris with a three-point basket. I don't understand that call, Chris. The official way over here was calling it a three. Thirty-four to seventeen. Two forty left in the first half. Keep the hammer down. Like to be up by twenty at half. Keep it up there. Hosenstein under pressure couldn't get his shot in. Coming away with the rebound was Vanderberg, and he's trying to push it to the basket and then kicked it off his foot. Seventh turnover now. Ozenstein out. Tyler Zastro back in. And Chile back in for Eames. Thirty-four to seventeen, Lutheran on top. Both teams are playing a man-to-man -man defense. Keep the lead where it is, Marty. You never want to see it under d double digits. Gans getting out on uh, Juris to prevent him from taking the shot. Zastro being guarded by the much taller Zonnefeld. Jeez, I just don't like that, Marty. Well, he's shooting against a much taller guy. You want to get it to the rack. Yep. Braunschweig had it. He's being guarded by Sheely being fronted. Good double, good double, good double. And it goes off of Regneris. Lutheran's going to have it right back. Good job there by Zastro, Tyler Zastro. Comes Eight. into the game 48th in the state in scoring. Lutheran had uh, 24 points in that first quarter, Chris. We've got uh, under two minutes left. They've only scored 10. Wow. And uh, they have not shot well this quarter. As you would know, <laughs> you're keeping track. But uh, it's been a slow, the pace has slowed down considerably. Yeah, they're just four of 12 in a quarter, Marty. Good point. And it's not like Christian is doing much either. Ball is tipped out of bounds by uh, DeYoung. Hess doing a lot more dribbling than we're used to seeing him do. Zonnefeld is 6'4", Chris. He's guarding uh, Tyler Zastro, who goes 5'9", uh, and that's a generous assessment. Sheely got foul. That's why he lost the ball. Logan Gans is going to pick up that foul. Foul on Gans. First person, sixth team. Yes. Oh my. Got the inbound pass, and they surprised him. That's two inbounds play baskets for Lutheran, and good scouted teams doesn't allow that to happen, but that was two on the monies for Lutheran. Sheely leaning on DeYoung a lot, and here comes Juris. He got him triple teamed, and he tried to pass it to uh, Logan Gans, but he threw it out of bounds, so uh, the double and triple team worked. He should have just shot it. You would have. I would have. <laughs> you funny. Come on, Marty, there's three guys guarding you. So what? Where are the other two? <laughs> Zastro uh, backing it out, looking for an opening, but... Uh, uh, don't have to force it in there. Yeah, he gets caught on the baseline, too. There isn't a whole lot of places to go. you got to keep it out on the floor. Under a minute left, it's 36 to 17. Lutheran on top, there's 40.4 seconds left. Zastro got it in the lane, and he got it up and in. A great pass by Jacob Juris. And again, an, off an inbounds play. In the tall timbers that time. 
And a good hustle by Juris. He makes a steal. Gans wants a foul. No way. Fifth turnover in like the last three minutes against Christian. 20 seconds. Lutheran will play for one. They're up by 21. It's 38 to 17. Here's the hammer if you can score here. Boy, with the place goal. Just get erupted if you can score. Zastro doesn't want to give it up. Now he does. Juris open. A good ball fake. Come on. Shot. Wouldn't go Hess. Oh. Had a bunny shot, couldn't get it to go, and we're at halftime. Sheboygan Lutheran, 38. Central Wisconsin Christian, 17. for a job in the paper. You got him. Let's go. Oh, Let's do it. Let's take He'll be okay. 80% of Fortune 500 companies only accept job applications online. Without the internet, you risk becoming extinct. Call us or visit our website to learn how to connect safely. We're back at uh, Kettle Moraine High School where at halftime there you see it, Sheboygan Lutheran on top, 38 to 17 in a, in a really great first half of basketball. Let's go over the scoring first for uh, Central Wisconsin. Uh, they were led by uh, Jason Vanderberg who came off the bench with six points and Tyler DeYoung, their uh, high scorer with six also. Uh, and the only other person to score for the uh, Central Wisconsin Christian Crusaders was Jason Braunschweig. He had five points. For uh, Lutheran, they were led by uh, Jacob Juris with 14 points, and Tyler Zastro had 10. Uh, Jeff Hess, nine. Ryan Chile hit a three-point basket early in the ball game. And uh, Taylor Zastro got into the game early and chipped in with two points to uh, total out to uh, 38. Uh, Chris just got back. Crazy half, but uh, we're not done. I'm always nervous till the end, Marty. 24 in the first quarter, slowed down to 14 in the second quarter. Uh, Christian had seven in the first and 10 in the second. Uh, good feed inside and DeYoung is triple teamed and Juris just took it away. And then uh, Tyler DeYoung get call, gets called for a foul. I mean, as soon as he touched the ball, Chris, three guys were on him. Yeah, and the live hands of Lutheran creates that turnover. Coney Zonnefeld is still guarding uh, Tyler Zastro, and actually, I thought Zonnefeld did a pretty nice job with uh, Tyler. Pass from outside, couldn't get it. One pass and a shot. You want to get a little more passing going than that, I think, Chris. What do you think? Work it around? Yeah. Uh, drive to the basket by uh, Zonnefeld, and he scores, and he's going to get uh, a free throw. There's that drive penetration again. Sonnefeld with the uh, foul trouble early. As I mentioned, he's the second leading scorer, and he starts the second half right away. Three-point play. 38-20. to 20. Talked to a couple people uh, during the halftime, Chris, and each one said, keep the pedal to the metal. Darn right. Long way to go. Luther now uh, working it around. 
Bill Lipom uh, had what he looked like a shot, but didn't take it. Sastro with a cut down the lane, and he gets fouled. Where are they going to get this one on? It's either going to be Greenfield or uh, Zonnefeld. Foul on Greenfield. Greenfield picks up the foul. That's uh, his second. 48% shooting for Lutheran in that first half, Marty. Castro makes the second of two. And they're six of 14 from three point range. Not a good, they're only one of six in the second quarter, but boy, those five in the first were huge. Young nails a two pointer. They're giving him two, foot was on the line. But he's taking his game outside, Chris. He's four of 11 from the floor. And that's nice to have a big kid like that that can play under the basket and shoot short. Looked like a set play, Chris, and they got it to, a Hess, uh, to Juris with a wide open shot, but he couldn't nail it. Six minutes left, up by 16. Gans applying the pressure on the ball. Juris trying to take him. Good kick out pass to Lightbaum. His three is good. That's a big basket, Marty. You got to get some momentum to start the second half, and now you're back up by 20. That's just a huge basket. Seven three-pointer for Lutheran. Good point. And it forces them to come out and guard another of the uh, <laughs> Lutheran players. Oh, that's deep. Greenfield, no good. Oh, how can Young that? goes yeah. right over the back, knocks down two uh, Lutheran players, but eh, we'll get it out of bounds anyway. <laughs> wow. That's called letting them play. And here comes the rest of the light pumps. Go, Joe, go. <laughs> Up by 20. Can you imagine the amount of revenue the WIA would lose if there weren't light pumps in the building? <laughs> Zastro. Zastro right down the lane. Puts it up and in. I just like this start, Marty. Great start. 22 point lead. They've doubled up on uh, the Crusaders. Inside, lean in with the body. Zonnefeld put it up and in. He got called for an offensive foul in the first half doing that move. Wasn't quite as uh, vociferous with that move. He's strong. He is strong. Him and DeYoung back next year, they're going to be big and strong. Zastro down the lane, couldn't get the roll, and Greenfield takes the ball away from his uh, teammate, DeYoung. Braunschweig had the ball tipped out of his hands by Jacob Juris. He pretty much got a full house in here, Chris. It's uh, 4.45 left in the third quarter. It's 44 to 24, Lutheran on top. Braunschweig right to the rack, puts it up and in. Bad defense. Too easy, too easy. Patience, patience. Need to get the ball to the other side, make the defense move. Good idea, Marty, good call. There you go. Swing. Sure's posting. Oh, he's going to catch it first. Yeah, fighting off the defense too much. Couldn't get both hands on the ball. Layup is up and good by Zonnefeld. He's 3 of 3 in the quarter, down to 16. Got to come back and counter. Yeah, Luther trying to run. Zastro from 10, rims out, had a great look, couldn't get it to go. He's four of 12 from the floor. Out of Whoops. Pickle, throws it right to Juris. Zastro trying to get it, couldn't. Ah, why? Lipom with the uh, rebound attempt, couldn't, and then uh, Phil's gonna pick up the foul for uh, Phil, that'll be his third. You know, Chris, uh, I'm going to cut uh, Zastro a little slack on that last shot simply because there wasn't too much he could do with it other than right. try and shoot it. He was sailing right. out of bounds. Yeah, good point. Good hustle play. Greenfield on a toss into uh, his teammate DeYoung and threw it way over his head. 
13th turnover now on hey, Central Chris, Wisconsin. Look across the way at the table. You see the sign in front of it? Oldies, we should get that sign. <laughs> A little pressure here applied. Oh, they had Zastro wide open down here in the corner. Never saw him. That's where that pass should have gone. Greenfield shot is no good. DeYoung with great hustle, and then he commits an offensive foul, not called, knocked the Lutheran player right to the floor with his elbow. Braunschweig takes it to the rack, couldn't get it. Sheely with the strong rebound, and now they're going to get Greenfield with the foul. And uh, it looks to me, Chris, it might be getting a little chippy in there. Yeah, well, it's physical, and uh, Central Wisconsin Christian in desperation mode down 16. Three minutes left in the third quarter, 3.05 exactly. Gonna apply some pressure here now. Lutheran struggled with this a little bit a week ago against Christian. And I thought they struggled with it a lot, actually. Now, Central Wisconsin Christian, the first game of the year, they did play Sheboygan Christian, beat them by seven. Not strong at Live hands, no, you're right, exactly right. Yeah. Shot is no good by uh, Greenfield. He'll go to the line to shoot a pair. Don't or, be afraid, Nick, don't be afraid. Actually, oh. that was Gans. Don't be afraid to use one here. Little mojo going the other way. Jeff Hess picks up his second foul. Taylor Zastro and Jacob Ames come in. Hess and Leipom take a break. Gans with another free throw. They've cut it to 14 points. It was as high as uh, 22. He's strong. He's strong. And a uh, good timeout by uh, Nick Verhagen. Prevent the uh, turnover. Chris, what are you seeing here in this uh, particular quarter? Well, as I mentioned before, Central Wisconsin now in desperation mode a little bit here. So they're going to try something probably they don't do a lot of, and that's press. It's how Lutheran handles it, takes care of the ball. You know, you know the officials are letting them go. You have to be strong with the ball. Chin that ball up as they used to teach you in grade school uh, camps all over uh, the state. Be strong with the ball, but don't be afraid to attack. Somebody's got to put a basket in just to get the mojo back. They got to get some points back. That's why I thought that three before by Light Palm was so big. Christian on an eight point run, Chris. They've scored the last eight points and uh, they've outscored Lutheran in the quarter 30 to six. Uh, pardon me, 30, 13 to six. Official talking to uh, Greenfield and uh, Sheely. Official very slow getting it to the uh, inbounder. Zastro. Gonna call the foul on uh, Vanderberg. That's gonna be his second. Lutheran three of seven and a quarter. Five of eight for Another miss. Yeah, Zastro had a pretty good look, and I don't fault him for taking the shot. You just want to, we want to make one. He's 4 of 15, 14, uh, Marty. They're using their size. Zonnefeld couldn't get it. The ball stays in the possession of Christian. Zonnefeld to the basket again. Couldn't Tyler DeYoung, no good. Ball being tipped around. Finally, Luther comes away with it. And uh, flying all over the floor was Lucas Vanderberg, and uh, he tipped it out of bounds. I'll tell you, this Central Wisconsin pounding the paint. They are really controlling the paint now, Marty. Another interception. Taylor's asked with a real bad pass. It's 44 to 30. We're under two minutes left in the third. Here we go, deep again, too deep. Tyler DeYoung, his shot was blocked on the way up, but they're gonna say a foul was committed by Luther. I don't know, he sure got a lot of, lot of places without moving it, the ball on the floor with a dribble. They are getting deep, deep, deep and pounding it inside. 
the two Twin Towers are really making themselves present here in this quarter. Jeff Hess checking back in. They're four of seven in the quarter. Now they're shooting free throws here. Someone for Lutheran has got to make a bucket. Someone's got to break the string. Lead has gone from 22 down to uh, 12. It's uh, 44 to 32. And the ball thrown away again. Bill Lipom back in. Five turnovers now for Lutheran here. In the quarter? Yes, sir. They didn't have one in the second quarter. And again, just one shot attempt in the quarter as well. Tyler DeYoung starting on the outside. Still remains outside the paint. Zonnefeld had the ball tipped away and Juris comes away with the rebound, or with the loose ball, I should say. Vandenberg trying to get up into uh, Zastro's grill. Nice feed to Sheely who lays it up and in. That's the basket we needed. Gotta finish strong here. We wanna be up double digits going into quarter number four. Greenfield. Working on Hess, spins to the middle. Shot is off, no good, but he gets called for travel. <laughs> they, got, they got that one, and here's the buzzer going off. Crazy buzzer. Coming in the ball game is uh, Jason Braunschweig. Big minute here, Marty. Big, big minute. Yep, 59.5 seconds left. Lutheran on top, 46 to 32. It's been a rough quarter for the Crusaders of Sheboygan. Come on, boys, wake up. Yeah, yes. Come on, Jeff. What are you giving me the ball for? Yeah, because you're one of the five on the floor. No. Nope. Juris couldn't get it. We had a good look at it. Chris could see it wasn't going down. 40 seconds left. Braunschweig being guarded by Tyler Zastro. See if they try to pound it in. Here they go again. Oh. Out to uh, Tyler DeYoung. His three is good. That's a backbreaker. That's his 30th of the season. Lutheran up by 11. 18 seconds left. Phil Lightpump kicks it out to Sheely. His short. rainbow three is way short. DeYoung with the rebound. Five seconds left. Braunschweig has a chance. Kicks it out. Shot is no good at the buzzer, and we're at the end of three quarters of play with Lutheran on top, 46 to 35. You can't text and pay attention to the world around you, and you definitely can't text and drive. Every year, deaths due to distracted and negligent driving are increasing. In fact, while drunk driving rates have dropped greatly, negligent driving fatalities have skyrocketed. Find out more at negligentdriving.com. You know the most important lesson you can teach your kids about playing sports? is concussion signs and symptoms. After a hit to the head, if they have any concussion signs like blurred vision or headache, they need to stay out of play until they're checked by a healthcare professional. Play safe when it comes to concussion. When in doubt, sit them out. To learn more, go to cdc.gov backslash concussion. This is the other thing you can teach them. It comes in handy. They only scored eight points in the third quarter and a little bugaboo that we saw in that Christian game, Chris, they had trouble uh, dealing with the pressure. They had the uh, trouble of dealing the, with the pressure of Sheboygan Lutheran and now uh, Central Wisconsin. Well, they are just three of 11 in Sheboygan. the quarter, but the, the key I thought was five turnovers, Marty. Yep, well, that's what I mean about handling the pressure. And Central Wisconsin did a great job of going back to where they, they earned their oats and it's in the paint. They are attacking the, uh, the paint. All their shots are from close range. You know what they did also is they moved uh, DeYoung outside more and they posted up. Uh, yeah, good point. Posted up Zonnefeld. Shelly rolls off. Great pass inside. He couldn't get the shot to go. Got to have those. 
When I was talking about the pressure before, I meant to say Sheboygan Christian and now uh, Central Wisconsin Christian putting the pressure. Zonnefeld, basket is good and he's fouled inside. There he is again. What do they have, an eight point quarter? Luther had an eight point quarter, they had an 18 point quarter. And now it's down to eight points with seven and a half left. Get uh, Jason Braunschweig with the uh, foul. Once again, somebody's got it. We need a bucket. Get the mojo back. Now they don't need a three point basket, they just need some points. Jerse is 0 for 2 in the quarter after going 5 of 10 in the first half. Zonnefeld doing a better job of defending. Uh, Jacob Juris. Shealy kicks it out. Inside to uh, Zastro and he rolls it in. Oh, I thought it was going to be like Shealy's. And uh, going down is Lucas Vandenberg and uh, we didn't see what happened there, but uh, he looks hurt. The lead for uh, Sheboygan Lutheran is back up to 10. It's 48 to 38 with uh, 650 left. How many baskets do we have this quarter? One. One. That was the one by uh, Zastro. Zastro just now. And they made a three pointer with. Three point play yeah. by uh, Zonifel. That's what I did. I gave it to the, the wrong four. Uh, Lucas Vanderberg did not uh, start the ball game, Chris, but he has been a, a big asset for the uh, Crusaders from uh, Central Wisconsin Christian. Seven long minutes to go, and the pace is much more at the uh, Central Wisconsin level. I told you that they only scored once this season in the 70s, and of course, Lutheran averages 70. Lutheran's going to have to work real hard to get up to 70 today. They're uh, 12 points down. It's not that they can't do it, but Greenfield, pump fake, tried to take it to the basket. Hess with the good defense. Drag that foot, too. That's deep. Greenfield, no good. Off of uh, Christian. Might have been off of DeYoung or Braunschweig, but uh, Sheboygan Lutheran's going to have it back. Yeah, they're just controlling the board using their size. Break for Lutheran. Be nice to get a bucket here again. Every trip is big. Lipom uh, breaking the press, but had it tipped away by uh, Jason Braunschweig. 10 point lead, 6.22 left. Rolling down to uh, the 6.15 mark of the fourth quarter. Sheboygan Lutheran up 10. Hess, drive nice. to the basket, scores. Very nice. Very nice. Recognized the opening and uh, took it. Each team with five fouls. Gans had it, gets it inside to uh, Conifeld. He puts it up and in. He's been a force this half. He definitely has. Five of eight and a quarter and a half, Marty. Oh, wow. You want the well, ball I don't, instead? I don't think, you know, it was not It was probably off of uh, Ryan, but uh, if you're going to do that, then you got to call a foul on Conifeld. Yep. Zonifeld, pardon me. Yep. What do you want, the foul? <laughs> That's an easy call there. Good decision by the officials, too. Toss it way out, get it over to Hess. 540 left in the ball game. Sheboygan Luther on top, 50 to 40, and a Bad steal by turnover. Gans. That was just another bad decision. Six turnover and a half, and a deep again. Gant's shot was blocked, and then Lipom tips it out of his hands. That's because they're getting deep, and they're getting offensive rebounds, Marty. I got uh, Lipom. If that's on Lipom, that's his fourth.
Lucas Vandenberg coming back in for uh, big Andrew Greenfield. Inside to Gans, he puts it up and in. In the paint. Yes. They, they are That's too easy. They are controlling the paint, as they say. Just muscling through. Five minutes, up by eight. Juris right down Main Street scores. The first basket of the second half, Marty. Pick him, Jacob. Got to score, Jacob. Puts it up and in off the pressure. No foul called, but another basket by Lutheran. They're up by 12, under five minutes. Braunschweig trying to make penetration and doesn't. Scores a great play by Jason Braunschweig. 10-point Lutheran lead. And we're going to get a foul. That's going to go on Zonnefeld. And uh, doesn't like the call, but I thought it was a good one, Chris. And I'm a homer, but I still think it was good. Each team now is six, Marty. Four and a half minutes, 4.32. Up by 10. For Cody Zonnefeld, Chris, that was his third. Nice pass. Shot off the glass is good by Sheely. Keep it above double digits. I love it, Marty. I'm with you there. DeYoung, leaping leader is good, and he's fouled by Ryan Sheely. Just turned and shot. Ryan Sheely didn't have a chance. The official doesn't need to talk here. They're in, he's in control. You stay in control as an official. Young has a chance to cut the lead from 10 down to single digits. 74% free throw shooter, their best, and he misses. Leipom almost had it tipped away. Sheely, I think, got away with the walk, Chris, but uh, we'll take it. Halfway through quarter number four. Hess leaning in the belly and couldn't get it to go, but he is fouled. Tyler DeYoung picks up his third. Coach Verhagen looks real calm over there. <laughs> He's probably calmer than us. <laughs> Second season. Todd Decker and John and Carol are here to cheer on Lutheran. State championship two years ago. Good support by that family. This is only going to be the fifth free throw of the game for uh, Sheboygan. And uh, they've made uh, four four of the five. Apply uh, a little pressure. You don't want a lot of pressure though because you don't want to foul when the clock's going here. Almost tipped away from Braunschweig. Oh, that's not going to go. Getting it back is Gans, no good. Got to get it. Leipom with the rebound. I Looked like, like it went off the head of a Christian player. They're not a big three-point shooting team. They've only hit an average of three per game. This Three, year. 3.30 left. Sheboygan Lutheran up by 12. They're running a little bit of clock. Little weave action. Got Tyler be. DeYoung tipped it away. A lot of contact, but they play on. DeYoung with a three attempt is no good. Juris with the rebound. You got to run some clock, but you got to be strong. Jeff Hess is right there. Jeff Hess was right there. He's still there. DeYoung uh, moving in the way of uh, Zastro, and uh, Zastro will be shooting the one and one. Both teams sitting with seven fouls. Let me tell you, Tyler DeYoung is winded. Look at him. Look at him, Marty. There you see right in your camera right there. He is beat. Might be a good time for a timeout for that young man. And we call one. <laughs> hey, whatever it takes. <laughs> you know, Marty, it, it's, we mentioned it last week. It's so difficult to just come back and then get over the hump. He's exerting so much energy, and then they pressed. We were talking after that game uh, to uh, Mike Thiebel, and he said, you know, how you expend so much energy to get into the game, and then there's nothing left at the end. But I think uh, I lost my train of thought there for a second. But I think you're right, Chris. You know, you expend a lot of energy. 
He's just where, I mean, he's tired and uh, Sonnefeld, who didn't play much in the first half because of foul trouble, has just been a force here. Yeah, I remembered my, my thought, and that is, you know, Lutheran likes to push the ball and get quick shots, basically. And now you're in a position where you need to slow the ball down. You know, it's kind of playing out of character. Very much so. A lot of these kids played uh, right across country. State team for that. Some of these kids were on a soccer team that uh, had a lot of success, conference championship team. Uh, big free throws coming up. They're all big now, Marty. Cool as a cucumber, Tyler Zastro. He's been around the wars for, for a long time. <laughs> yeah, yes. Oh, just Second rolled out. Would look good. Out. Yeah. That's DeYoung's 10th rebound. Averages nine and a half. Let's hope he doesn't improve his average next week. Greenfield looking for the three, couldn't find it. Braunschweig to the basket and scores and he's fouled. The old bugaboo. Yeah, Jason Braunschweig. They have trouble, well, they got trouble with any of the guys that drive to the basket. It doesn't matter if you're big or small. 2.43 left. 59-58, Lutheran on top. Nick Verhagen, deep breath. Looks over by Coach Decker, who's announcing a game tonight and a missed free throw. Again, back-to-back -back misses for them. Come to the ball. Come to the ball. Come to the ball. 2.30 left. Come to the ball. Luther looking to run clock. Doing a good job of it so far. Sastro inside feed to Sheely who lays it up and in. Bingo baby. 61-48. Three ball is no good. Zastro gets the rebound, Chris. And he's trying to dribble out of pressure. And does. Three timeouts for each team, Marty. Three timeouts for each team. Oh, there's a foul. That one's going to go on Lucas Vandenberg. Good to see that young man back in, Chris. You can just see Central Wisconsin, hands on their knees, hands on their hips. They are so tired. The battle to come back was so difficult for them. The last two minutes for them is going to be hard. We got to let them work to make baskets so we can't allow drive penetration, Marty. And another miss. Oh. Back to back for us. A bad pass. Juris with the steal and then a quick follow with 153 left. Lutheran up 13. It's not over yet, but uh, the more they have to foul, and I believe uh, Lutheran will be shooting two from now on. 16th turnover of the ball game for them. 16. Yeah, that's way too many. And 10 of them are in that first half. Can't have that many turnovers. Expect to win, not at this level. Marty, I have Sheboygan Lutheran five for five. No, that's wrong. Six for six from the floor. Oh, look at this. Light pump off the glass, couldn't get it in. Zastro trying to steal it away. Don't foul. We cannot foul there. That's our first miss of the quarter. Point break range. Three ball is good by Zonnefeld. Oh, man. That's just his ninth of the season. Under 100 seconds, Marty. 11 points lead. Oh, that's Zastro a Zastro with a real bad pass. We're not used to seeing that from Tyler. Still 11 points. Inside the greenfield, basket is good. Cut into the lead again. His first basket of the ball game. One of seven. Oh, bad pass again, but Luther keeps it. Zastro had it tipped away, not aware of who was around him. Got to have better court awareness, and then Hess steals the pass. And we get a timeout. Great 103 time. left. 
Lutheran up 53 to 62 to 53. Jeez. Get nervous. Well, it's it's not that, Chris. It's just you know you get you're you're at a point now where your season is so important in terms of going to state, you know, and, and repeating what you did a couple of years ago, and you're playing lackadaisical. Yeah, well, maybe not lackadaisical, but you're not playing sharp. Yeah, you got 63 seconds and a nine-point lead, and the ball. You have to be strong with the ball, and you got to be you got to at least make one of two free throws when you get the opportunity. I believe that was the third timeout for Lutheran. I got him with three. Okay, good. So Astro's gonna get fouled. I want him there. I was just gonna say that, Chris. <laughs> I'm with you there. I want him at the line. We need at least one, two would be great. Right now it's a three possession game. Actually, you know who I'd really like to see at the line? Me. <laughs> you didn't get that first one, Marty. What is that, three in a row they've missed? Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, four out of five. Oh, really, I thought uh, they missed a couple before. Uh, Juris made the first free throw when he was on the line just before. <sighs> creepers, creepers. Had a chance, oh, this is gonna be green ball. You know, they could have got uh, Tyler yeah. DeYoung with a foul pushing off. <laughs> but a good no call. Empty trip, Marty. Yeah. Empty trip, 56 seconds, up nine. Three possession game, under 50. Zonafell leaning in on Hess, draws the foul, it stops the clock, gives them an opportunity to score without the clock running. That's Hess's third. Think back to those uh, Christian Lutheran games and how well Lutheran had shot their free throws. And yeah. tonight, it's just uh, at the most critical time of the season, it's been escaping them. Well, Zonnefeld's just a 57% free throw shooter, Marty. No you got somebody there, he's the one. Still a three possession game, 47 seconds left. It was, it took them basically nine seconds. Taylor's Astro in the ball game, Chris. I find that being an interesting substitution. I would say so. I want Phil Lightpalm in the game. Well, we don't know what uh, Phil's three, free throw shooting is. He said, I don't know. But uh, Juris going to the line. We like him there. He's had a rough second half. He's two of four, both two point, uh, two point baskets. But I'll tell you, you won't forget that first quarter, Marty. Four threes in the first quarter. Dan Ten Napple from uh, the head coach for uh, Central Wisconsin, I thought made some really good uh, adjustments in the second half, especially offensively. Good point. There's your man, Phil Lightpomp, coming in for uh, Taylor's Astro. Nine point lead with that uh, made free throw. See if you can bump it up to 10. Four, four possessions, four possessions. 64-54, rolling down to 40 seconds. Too Braunschweig quick. had it tipped away. Went off a Lutheran player. Christian will uh, have it back. 39.9 seconds left. It's a 10-point lead. Braunschweig pulls up with a three, Ooh. rims out. No break. Tick, 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 tick. And Zonnefeld committing the foul. Sends Astro to the line. If you can get to 67, you can put it in the bank and book your ticket to Madison. Because there's no way they can get 13 points in 30 seconds. So Astro's missed three in a row. Four in a row, pardon me. He had a one and one that he missed uh, earlier. 
Needs one there. Defend the three. The three point attempt is no good. Braunschweig with the rebound gets it inside and it's blocked by his Gan or Gans's shot is blocked and then they call a foul. Late call. Looked like a fine block, Chris. Wow. Well, as I mentioned before, many times already, they've only hit 102 threes this year, Marty. You know, that's an average of about, you know, three a game. And when they need threes, they can't make them. Boy, oh boy. The free throw shooting in this fourth quarter has been uh, atrocious. Central Wisconsin, one of seven from three-point range in the fourth quarter. Need one there, 65, 55. Oh, the clock's running. Yeah, Another second didn't. clicked off. Yep, 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 good point. And they're gonna bring the officials over and say it should be about 2.4. Come over here, ask me, I'll tell you. I thought it was over 20. Yep. Like 20 points. 24, something. yeah. I think you're right. <laughs> 66 55, 21 seconds left. Looking a lot more secure now than we did uh, back in the. Third and early fourth quarter, Chris. Yeah, they gave it a run, I'll say that. I was a little nervous entering the fourth quarter. 67, game's over, book your tickets. Braunschweig no good, rebound put back oh, is wow. no good. And the rebound put back again by Gans is no good, but he is fouled. I mean, you don't make, well, not that it matters so much, but uh, well, it does matter. You gotta make the first shot so you can stop the clock with a timeout. Preserve time. Gans makes that one. It's 56 now for uh, Christian Luther has 67. Luther 6 of 8 and a quarter shooting. I have Christian 7 of 18 and continued to miss free throws. That Bounce kid hustles away. and yeah. he can't hit any. Sheely had it stripped away and we get a jump ball situation. Tie, tie up situation, pardon me. 3.6 seconds left. Luther on top, 67 to 56. And uh, Central Wisconsin Christian is clearing the bench. Goodbye. Van Buren. How about that, Marty? Yeah. State tournament. Koiker also in. Coming in for uh, Sheboygan. Kuksic, Welsh. Good job, Coach Verhagen and your staff. Jacob Berg. Shot is no good, and that's the ball game. Sheboygan Luther going to state again with a 67-56 win. Richard Bartson, our cameraman, Chris is going to try to get some interviews hopefully before we uh, leave. It's uh, been a good afternoon, a very exciting basketball game. Luther uh, pretty much had it their way in the first half, but uh, Western Wisconsin Christian really came back tough. Wow, the first quarter I thought was the key, Marty. They came out shooting 10 of 15, 5 of 8 from three point. Put the pedal to the metal and never looked back after that first quarter. This team had a goal to get to the state tournament and not all teams who set goals that high reach it. And congratulations to Nick Verhagen and his staff and all the, the boys. I'll tell you, what a senior group here. It's a very rare opportunity to get to a state tournament, and uh, a lot of these boys get to go for a second time. Spirited uh, second half by uh, Western Wisconsin 
Christian with 39 points, Chris. They uh, also were able to hold uh, Sheboygan Lutheran to only 29 second half points. It's a key to that. They're handing out the medals for uh, sectionals. There's Johnny Decker behind you, Marty. Central Wisconsin finishes 20 and 7 this season. Number 22, Jared Regnerus. Number 15, Thomas DeVries. Number 12, Tyler DeVries. They lose their guard play, Marty, but their front line's gonna be. I don't know, I, I really like that Jason Braun, Braunschweig, number three, he really hustled out there. Yeah, he did, and uh, scrapping. Finished the uh, game with 11 points for uh, Lutheran. Juris at 23, uh, Zastro at 18. Jeff Hess at 13. Jacob Ames. <laughs> the athletic director, Jacob. <laughs> you know, another thing, these Lutheran kids are nice kids. They're really nice kids. They're very active in a lot of things. I've seen these kids in plays, in musicals and things, and it's not just uh, athletics that, they're, uh, that they excel at. <laughs> Not often an athletic director gets a hug. <laughs> Tyler's Astro laughing about this. <laughs> we talked a lot about Zonnefeld. Cody Zonnefeld had no points in the first half. Chris, he had 14 in the second. Well, he had uh, all that foul trouble. And... Uh, Boy, they just controlled the paint in the second half, which we probably expected when the game started was gonna happen, but just the, uh, the blitzkrieg of a lightning attack to start the game by Lutheran was too much for uh, Central Wisconsin Christian their, to overcome. Yeah, their big guy, Tyler DeYoung, uh, came into the game averaging almost 16 points a game, ended with only 12, Chris. They really uh, were able to control him. Yeah, he was five of 14 from the floor, Marty. So a good job, not just by Ryan Sheely, but you're right, the whole team. Gans had a nice game, finish with six points all in the second half. Scoring is not complete, but I've got a couple here. Let's run through uh, Sheboygan. Juris at 23, Sheely 9, Hess 13, Tyler Zastro with uh, 18, Taylor Zastro had 2. For uh, Western Wisconsin Christian, Jason Braunschweig had 11, Cody Zonnefeld had 14, Tyler Gant, Logan Gantz had 5. Vandenberg, Lucas had uh, six, and uh, Tyler DeYoung had 12. Coming over is uh, Nick Verhagen. I'm gonna talk to Nick a little bit. Nick, you got it? Can you I got me? it, I got all it. All right, Nick. great. Uh, first of all, congratulations. It was a really great game. Your guys uh, came out uh, really gunning tonight, yeah. this afternoon. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, it's, it's what's got us here. You know, we can't go away from the things that have got us here. And, uh, you know, we work a lot on our shooting. We work a lot on, our, on, on attacking with the ball and off the ball. And 
off the pass, and um, they believed in what we've been what we've been working on for you know what I've been working on for four years with a lot of these guys, and um, it's paying dividends. These guys are awesome. I'm going to talk about the downside just a little bit. I thought against uh, Sheboygan Christian, you guys really struggled with pressure late in the second half, and I saw a little bit of that here in the second half against uh, Western Wisconsin. Talk a little bit about handling pressure. Oh boy, the pressure was there. I mean, we, you know, those are things that we that we replicate in practice, and uh, you know, we get we get guys just grinding on guys, double teams, six on five, seven on five kind of stuff. Um, and today, you know, it, it's just credit to the teams. As you mentioned, Christian and, and, and CWC here, uh, you know, give credit to the, those guys for battling back and, and putting that pressure on us. Uh, you know, they could have easily folded, and they didn't. And that's a class act and uh, just a, a great competitor and, and that coach and all those players. So uh, they deserve to be here. Uh, I'm proud of, I'm proud of the, the pressure they put on us, and I'm glad the way we handled that pressure. On the upside, I thought your team... Uh down the stretch, handled the pressure very well, and, and got into a half-court game, yeah. and were able to get some penetration and easy shots, especially yeah. for Sheely. Yeah, at the end, uh, you know, the, the message at the end was, our next buckets are going to be wide open layups or free throws, and uh, we know that they're a great, shoot, great free throw shooting team. We struggled from the line terribly at the end, but we handled the pressure. You know, as, as you as you mentioned, the pressure was something that got to us, but. It wasn't. It wasn't unheard of, you know. In the earlier in the quarter, you missed about uh, five out of six, I think, or so. But uh, down at the end, when it came pressure point, you made six in a row. So and that was huge. I mean, I, I trust in all these guys. I want. I want Tyler to get to the line, and Tyler wants to get to the line. He's our best. He's our best free throw shooter. Hey, the so only the only guy I wanted in the, at the line instead of him was, that was me. Nate? Yeah. <laughs> it was me. Yes. Oh, you. <laughs> Absolutely. We want to get him to the line. You're right. Uh, he's, he's a good free throw shooter. I thought you did a great job of coaching two call timeouts Thank at the right time. You had some adjustments that you made. And, Thank uh, you. you know, it's nice to, to be able to call timeouts when, when we're up and we're on a run and be able to embrace what these, what these fans are bringing. I mean, look at this. This is crazy. You know how many fans we have. It's hundreds and hundreds of supporters. 500 and, tickets they sold yesterday. Unreal. And how many guys walked in, how many families walked in. And, for them to dedicate so much time and travel to come here and support these these 14 young men and these four coaches and, and uh, three managers, it's it's a special thing. I'm, I'm so blessed to be a part All of it. Right. Congratulations, Nick. Awesome. We're going to so send uh, Phil here. over here, have him talk a little bit. Thank you very much. Hey, Phil. Hey. Congratulations. Thank you. Great win. Uh, I thought you guys uh, really handled the pressure down the end, down at the end, really quite well. A little better than you did maybe against uh, Sheboygan Luther, but uh, a great win here tonight. Yeah, that uh, second half they brought the pressure. We knew it was going to come that high 2 2 1. Coach prepared us for it, and uh, we ran it pretty well, got the ball to the middle, and could uh, get some layups on that. <laughs> Talk a little bit about the game plan going in with uh, Tyler uh, DeYoung, their uh, big it center. Was just, uh, to double him down low, and when he, whenever he gets it, force him left, he liked to go up right, finish strong, and he's a good player, and he can also shoot from the outside, so we had to watch that. Ryan Shue did a great job on him today. It was uh, nice to double him down a little bit, get him frustrated a little bit, but uh, he's a good player. I thought, I thought it got a little chippy out there uh, late in the first half, because you guys really had it on him in that first half, especially in the first quarter. Uh, what was going on out there? Jake was on fire first half. He was five for five in the first quarter. You could tell they were frustrated and whenever he'd shoot, drain it. I could see some of their guys were just deflated right away. They were hit, uh, they had up open shots. They just, uh, they didn't follow the first half for them. They got some in the second half, but uh, that first half they were frustrated. They they got good looks. They just uh, couldn't knock them down. I thought we played some pretty good defense on it, but you could tell they uh, were a little rattled from that first half by Jers. Hey, I want you guys to uh, take it home on uh, Thursday, and then uh, hopefully right. I can get down there on Saturday and watch you guys play. Thanks. All the best. Great game tonight, Thank Phil. Uh, it was good. a great call in your games this year. Thank you. Thanks for coming. All righty. With that, we're going to wrap up the uh, ball game. Again, Sheboygan Lutheran, a winner by a score of 67-56. Uh, we want to thank uh, Richard Bartson for making the oh, trip gosh, down yeah. here. Phil, I know uh, Chris is really happy, and uh, the only downside to the win, Chris, is you should have been sitting in my spot doing these interviews. <laughs> oh, no, no, you, you deserve it. What a great day. What a great day for Sheboygan. And uh, like I mentioned before, you, a lot of teams set out goals to get to state, and these gentlemen accomplish your goals, and uh, hopefully it'll be a very enjoyable week, a week that the young men will never forget. Yeah, we want to wish uh, Sheboygan Lutheran all the best. Congratulations uh, for a fine season to uh, Western uh, Wisconsin Christian. And with that, 
For Richard, our uh, cameraman, for my partner Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road.